I heard about it probably actually years ago when the show Six Feet Under was on TV and I think the funeral director he ended up doing an unconventional means of burying somebody, but I think he was talking about green barrels. So it put the idea in my head. And then years later, my husband was ill and I started thinking about what did I want to do? What might he want to do eventually? And so uh, I, I knew it existed as a thing. I didn't know, I'd never researched where it happened, but I really liked the idea. My husband and I are, have both been environmentalists for a long time, and he was a native Floridian and sixth generation Floridian. And so, uh, yeah, so it was uh, a few months before he died that I asked him how he would want to be buried or whether he'd want to be cremated or and I, he wasn't aware of Green Barrel, so I brought it up and we talked about it and, and he said that was what he would want. So, but I didn't know at that time that it was available anywhere near me. Oh, yeah. I like the fact that you're not encasing a body in something that keeps water out so that the body doesn't decompose readily, that you're wasting so many, res you're not wasting all the resources that uh, it just seems so natural and to me more kind of sacred that ashes to ashes, dust to dust, that you really do go back to the earth. I learned about Heartwood Preserve when my husband was in very failing health. He had been in failing health for a number of years, but that we were getting toward the end and Actually, we were, I didn't know it, but we were a couple days away and I knew about Green Burial. So I just started Googling Green Burial in Florida and only three places came up and it turned out Hartwood was just a few miles from my house. And um, so I looked into it and came out here for a visit the next day. I think I heard about natural burial for the first time on the show Six Feet Under years ago, a show about a funeral director family. And uh, I'm sure I probably read about it too, maybe in Sierra Magazine or other environmental publications, but it was something that was kind of in the back of my mind for a long time. What did you the thing I like about natural burial is uh, it seems more environmentally conscious than the other options, sealing a body in a waterproof container or burning the remains. It, the idea of a body being put back into the earth and then becoming part of the earth again just seems natural and sacred to me. I heard about Heartwood Preserve just a few days before I needed to know about it. My husband had been in failing health for years and he was in the hospital and it was clear he wasn't going to last long. So I knew I had to start thinking about what were my options. And I just Googled green burial in Florida and Hartwood popped up along with just a couple of other places. My experience on the day of the burial and leading up to it was just a very calm, beautiful location with people that we connected with right away. And then we were able to arrange the burial on the day that we wanted and have all the support that we needed, but we were able to design our own service in our own way. And my daughters and my son-in-law got to shovel earth into the grave. And for them, that was a really important component of getting closure and saying goodbye. It seemed really beautiful to them and spiritual. Um, the day out here was, on the day my husband was buried, it turned out luckily to be a beautiful sunny day and uh, the birds were singing and the wildflowers were, I think some of them were blooming. And, uh, and it was just lovely. If you have to have an experience that's inherently so difficult to be able to do it in a place like this was great for me. If somebody 
If I was speaking to somebody who didn't know about natural burial, I'd want to tell them about my experience, about how my husband was a sixth generation Floridian and a, um, an environmentalist, a bird watcher, and how just the peace that I have knowing that he's in a natural setting and that his body is decomposing into the earth that he loved so much. And I just imagine if his spirit is lingering here, he can enjoy the wildflowers and the birds, and it just gives me a feeling of peace. Some people who don't know about green burial might think it would be odd to bury a body in a simple wooden box or a shroud, um, that it's really one of the most sacred and beautiful and spiritual things I've ever experienced, that it just seemed so right and so moving and my my daughters and I just all agree that it was for a horrible situation it was the best possible way to deal with it. Then I come out here from time to time and visit the grave and sometimes I take a little video on my phone and send it to my daughters to show them what it looks like out here today and it's, it's just so reassuring to have such a nice, beautiful place to come. Okay. Um, I told my daughter that I was going to be making a video about my experience here, and she wrote this that I'd like to share with you. She says, I had a very good experience there. I mean, as good as could be expected. I felt well treated, respected, and empowered. I appreciated that they encouraged us to have that day on our terms, our schedule, our ceremony, our music, doing lots of the digging ourselves. It felt very organic.